This is the groove box that we wish Electron would have given us years ago, or will give us ever, okay? If you're an Electron fanboy, and I love Electron, let's get that out of the way, you are gonna love this device. Imagine the Analog 4, but every single of the four voices is polyphonic, and you also get a drum track that you don't have to divide your kick and your snare and your hat into different steps because you only get one track. No, I'm talking about 10 voices for drums, like one specific track, and not set drum sounds. I'm talking about kits. The sounds on this thing. It's no secret that Roland synths sound amazing. It's one of those things that I don't think people can argue on. Kind of like a Moog synthesizer. The 106, gorgeous. The D50, the 101, so many beautiful synthesizers. And we actually get four synthesizers on this thing. We get the SH-101, the Juno 106, the SH-4D, which is like the new synth. And one more, I forget what it is. And I believe that you can change them. It says and more, like on the website, but I'm not sure how easy it is to like bring sounds in and out of here. Like I haven't really found that easy of a way so maybe it's not advertised well enough which happens a lot with this stuff but this isn't a how-to video there's plenty of those out there already I might make one of my own you guys do know I make tutorials but I'm here to talk about why you might want this device so it's a groove box four voices five including the drums we have these four sliders that affect the oscillators but can also control our volumes for our four tracks and then the fifth one is this knob over here but the big like elephant in the room this beautiful panel that is literally all our synths right in front of us. So comparing this to the Electron Analog 4, with the Analog 4, you had to go in to every single page and find the filter, find the setting. It was always extra to like get a decent sound. There were some good presets on it and it was an awesome machine, but for the amount of money that they're asking for it, I think it's now like 1700 something dollars, which is insane. Um, this is 650 bucks. You get 60 voices of polyphony and the beautiful sounding Roland engine. So like, I'm kind of feeling like a Roland fangirl right now. I got my SP, I got my TR8, but like, these are just pieces that have withheld the test of time. And I feel like this is going to be one of those other ones for me. There are drawbacks though. So, you know, don't get too excited. You know, Jay gets a little excited sometimes when she finds a piece of gear that she likes, but this is what I always wanted from Electron. Does it have the Electron workflow? Absolutely not. So imagine if Electron made something like this and then we could have conditional tricks and then we can have probability like proper stuff, you know, like the sounds on it are amazing. The sequencer compared to the Electron is probably at about uh, 50%. There are a few cool things that you can do with it. Like you can record live into it and because of the polyphony, like you can do chords. There's so much that you can do with this device, but we are tied to 64 steps to the grid, and I'm not really even sure how to access time divisions to make that seem longer. So the Electron workflow, I mean, 17 something hundred dollars. I'm not sure about all that anymore because when I got into Electron, even 1200 seemed like a lot of money. But for the sounds, like this is my new favorite synthesizer. And this keyboard down here, I actually love this thing. Yes, I do have my other 37 actual key keyboard down here to control this, but it's not a necessity. I could go just with this. Having this to compose, that's gonna open up like a whole new world. Like guys, this is a synthesizer. Four synthesizers, okay? It is battery powered, four AA batteries, and then the only power source is USB-C. Why isn't this focusing? Well, y'all know what it looks like. I have heard some complaints about people saying that they're getting noise when plugging the USB straight into their computer when powering it, just powering it that way. So my workaround for that has just been to use the USB like to an actual power plug because I don't believe it's audio over USB anyway. I might be wrong, but I don't think it is. The batteries on this thing last quite a while. I had it a few days where I didn't touch it or would jam with it like for half an hour at least and put it back and I would come back. Still good. So not bad for only having four batteries. The SP has six. So four synthesizers, all beautifully laid out. We switch between them and we have access to all of our parameters, a drum machine, an effects section that is not like SP effects level, but probably like 60%, 50, 60% of what the SP can do. You can get on here. I've even been able to replicate the DJ effects like da -da 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 on here. So possible tedious but possible those are also my thoughts on the built-in drum machine that's why i have my tr8 over here like yes it's cool to have the built-in drum machine in here but i can't switch between drum patterns so like a future update that i would love to see on this thing would be to have different drum like scenes kind of how they have on the tr6s and 8s so i can have like one type of drum pattern going on over here with my melodies and then switch just the drums and like you know get a whole different vibe and have my melody the same that's not really possible with this i can 
can easily do that with my TR8 because all I have to do is press switch pattern and I can jump around all my patterns. So I would like to see that on here. I feel like that makes the drum machine kind of, you know, not that 100% useful. Also something that this is lacking that would take the workflow to level 9,000 would be what is it lacking? I forgot already. To have a performance effects mode. I don't know if you ever messed with a WMD Metron sequencer, but that thing is like top notch when it comes to drum and performance effects. Like if they brought something like that to here, because like the drums get very repetitive. There's not really much that you can do with them unless you're putting them through the SP and mangling them a little bit, but then you're mangling your whole track. So I would love to see like some type of performance mode where we're just like pressing buttons and like like that, you know, like that would be dope so performance like a 40 percent sound 120 percent the sounds coming out of this thing i just did a sound demo on my music channel if you want to check that out and i was only showing one sound that's literally just me jamming with one synthesizer i still had three synths left i was actually doing a jam and then i just got sucked in into just playing the sounds because it was so beautiful like I'll link it below if you want to check it out. For the sounds alone, like if you really want to go that extra step and maybe sequence this with something else, you know, that would be a workflow. Like sequencing this with an Electron Analog 4, but you know, you're talking about $2,500 just to sequence something, come on now. It depends, like, if you already have the gear, <laughs> I guess, you know, but that sounds like very extra extra. Even this workflow right now that I have going on, like, I was messing with this for the last couple of hours. And my thing is always I want to have less, so I'm just like, ah, do I need this keyboard here? I don't need it, but yes, it makes it easier to compose. If I were to perform, I don't need the keyboard. That's the cool thing, that, like, I can compose this way, have everything loaded into here, build my projects, build my sets, and then just take this. But I do want to process it, so... I'm gonna need my SP. I also want to start incorporating my modular that's looking all sad over there. And I love my very good 4 plus sequencer to give me those like non-linear sequences and I can have that running while I'm doing like 64 bar long piano or pads on here. That's gonna be a dope workflow. I'm still trying to figure out the audio situation because right now I have everything going into the TR8 and then out of the TR8 into the SP. What that is doing is it's allowing me to use the sidechain on the TR8 which is a lot of fun. So. Dallas is just so much fun, but so much work. Like, yo, the computer is, like, you get things a lot done faster, but Dallas is just so much fun. Like, the last couple weeks, I've been trying to figure out my workflow with Ableton, and I got me, like, a tiny MIDI controller, and yes, it is so productive. Like, it is super productive, but I have not had this much fun as I had today, so... Dollars is just so much fun and that's why it's such a rabbit hole but once you find pieces of gear that you're like wow this really fits my workflow like the SP like I've had the SP for a few years now you know I still have a TT303 in my closet that I've had since forever the TR8 I've also had for years this key step it's also going on for years so you know a lot of gear comes and goes and you need to know when to let go like if a piece of gear is not working for you Bye Felicia, no time. Do not invest any time in something that is not like fueling your creative need and like allowing you to get your creativity out because that's the point for technology to get out of the way and for something to become an extension of you. So like my goal is to be able to be like boom, 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 like not even thinking of what I'm doing. And that's kind of how I get with the SP sometimes that I can just like, I already know what a button's gonna do before I press it. So like I already know the kind of sound that I'm trying to get out of, Jesus. Thunder, this shit's about to blow up. Oh, so I'm just popped over here. Okay, I'm gonna probably turn all this stuff off because there's a lot of electronics in here and it's raining really hard outside. Let me know what's your favorite synth right now. Definitely this is like top for me right now. Sound-wise, I really want to check out that Osmosi, Osmosi, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get that on the channel, but hey, maybe one day we can like check it out. Besides that, check out the new guitar rack. Looking clean, looking clean. I really want to incorporate more sampling into my electronic music. Cause when I get like too into electronic music, it's mostly like sequencing and filter sweeping and you know, doing this and not enough of guitar and stuff like that. So I'm really trying to figure out like the whole sequencing situation when it comes to guitar. Might have to, yeah, I don't know. It would be dope if, yo, it would be dope if Roland is working on something like this, but a sampler? Yo! Do dreams come true? If you've been thinking of joining the largest music distributor on the planet and getting your music on all major platforms, DistroKid just made it a whole lot easier. With the new DistroKid iPhone app, users have access to unlimited music uploads whenever, wherever. Edit all details of your tracks and albums, and easily keep track of your earnings and stats all from your Apple iPhone. Coming soon to Android. If you're thinking of signing up, don't forget to use the code below and save 7%.